since uh, I was born, my mom always loved horses and I was that little kid going with mommy uh, to ride with her every single day. That was my everything from the beginning to until now. When my dad retired from the bank, um, I was working myself in international business and my sister was working in marketing. So it was the perfect excuse for my dad to focus on my passion and make out of my passion of business uh, having the daughters together. Uh, always following the path of my mom that uh, unfortunately she passed away and uh, she is the one that is is, is the main reason why we actually did this, uh, just for her. So the place was really not made, it was just full of bushes. And we have to start from scratch, uh, building the three lakes, uh, cutting all the trees. And I really wanted to make my dream place in 23 acres. So we focus having the front full of arenas where we all have the chance to change arenas back to back. So horses are always uh, happy and open to work. That's very important for me. And not keeping them all the time enclosed in the same place. I think it's boring for them and it's boring for me too because we spend a lot of hours in the arena. Uh, and then enjoy the back with the trails and uh, having most of my horses out uh, 12 hours a day at night uh, is, is part of what I think is really important uh, to let them be horses m most of the time. No? It was very beautiful to be part of the project with my dad, uh, making the, the first trails, uh, the first line of pipes uh, with a group of groomers that we always had. And and making it grow little by little. Uh, I think part of the beauty of this place is uh, to see each single tree of it uh, growing little by little, no? And, and always go back to the pictures and see, wow, this looks totally different now, no? Uh, so every single piece of the land here uh, is made with love. I think um, giving my best, you know, giving my best to every single people that are with me in my team, uh, always treating everybody with, uh, with respect. And no matter who, you know, come to your house, you're always going to give them your best and respect their thoughts, respect the way they think uh, about uh, horses and don't try to criticize ever anybody and uh, love them as they are. And we have a lot of people coming to the barn uh, from the riding school, 80 kids, 80 parents, uh, sailors that come from all over the US. And every single person that comes to me, I, I really see a unique opportunity to be a good person no? and uh, to try to understand them and learn from them as well. And be very open mind and always have a lot of respect for everybody that works for me and everybody that is a client. We sold horses to all over the US, Canada, Hawaii, Australia, Mexico. Latin American, Venezuela. So we are very, we are very happy to starting to have a name. I think uh, I have a sense. I don't know what it is, but I always follow my instincts. I have a type. I have a feel about the legs, the movements of the horses. I don't watch TV. I watch horses on YouTube and stallions and babies and. So I'm obsessed, yes I am, <laughs> but I think um, my taste, I follow my taste and apparently uh, it works and people appreciate the type of horses I bring to the US and the type of horses I, 
I breed myself uh, because I have proof over and over that what I like uh, is likable for everybody else. So as a business, I think uh, my major, my passion was always research, you know, competing at the European Championships and at the international levels, Nations Cup. Uh, so of course all my horses are going to be at Resas Horses for competitions where we have a lot of clients competing with us. We have a main group of horses that are going to be for sale and we also have a huge uh, other business that runs in the evenings and emerge together all beautifully. That is the riding school where I love, love, I have three kids and I love to see all the parents enjoy my property. I mean, really, to walk around my property in the evenings and have the kids enjoy the place and have the parents enjoy the trees and the, and the countryside that we, we built here, I think is as pleasant as uh, winning the Olympics. <laughs> So I think when, when you do what you love, you know, sometimes uh, you don't know when to stop, no? it's uh, sometimes too much and uh, it's so nice to have a family uh, that really put up with me uh, because uh, it's, it's hard for me sometimes to, to stop thinking about my business and uh, I'm so thankful to have my husband and, and my family and my kids uh, understanding how crazy I am, no? Because I think to do something really uh, to the maximum power, uh, you have to be a little bit crazy and, and that's what makes you successful at the end of the day. Otherwise, you, you will not succeed, I think, in, in a business.